Hi everyone, this screencast will give you a quick walk through the experiments and information for part two. So to get started, go over here in the course to learning modules and then click on the link for part two. At the top of part two, I have everything you need to do as a reminder listed right up here at the top. There are some steps to follow and then a recommendation from me. That is followed by an overview and outcomes for this part uh, that is focused on active learning. Under that, you'll find the resources that we have set aside for you for part two. So go ahead and uh, read each of these links, and then here's some optional reading for you. Then you'll see the heart of part two, which is the five experiments. In part two, there are five experiments and you will pick two of those experiments to complete. Three of the experiments are webinars and two are additional types of experiments. So go ahead and take a look through the experiments before making your choice. Um, there's, there's a lot of good resources here. Some of the experiments come with additional resources. So for example, experiment 2E is on low stakes quizzes. A lot of the information here is resource material for you when thinking about doing a low stakes quiz in Blackboard. Each experiment is linked to the final part of part two, which is the course, uh, the part two experience experiment outcomes blog. That is a mouthful. If I click on that link, each, each experiment is linked up to the same blog. When you get done with your experiments, you can come over here and create your blog entry. Um, you can do it all at once at the end, or you can do it after each experiment. Uh, you are able to edit your blog entry. So if you prefer to do it one at a time, you can do it that way. I have posted a sample here for you. So you can take a look at that when you're ready. And then if you need help, go over here to discussion forums and use the raise your hand uh, forum. I have, I have uh, reformatted this to be one raise your hand forum and you can post any kind of question you need there. I have subscribed to it and I'll be monitoring it. So please post a question for me there and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. You can also send me an email anytime you like, and if you'd like to set up a meeting uh, to go over uh, the requirements for part two or anything that you're, um, you know, have questions about or would like a little extra tutorial on, I'm happy to do that. So please reach out to me. Uh, so good luck with part two. I look forward to seeing your work. It's been great learning from you so far. Take care.